Hey everyone, my name's Slad, and I've been needing to cook for myself a lot recently. And I ended up looking into cooking appliances because I needed more efficient ways to feed myself. And one of the products I looked at was called a griddler. I found this particular one on Amazon and I saw that it was very professional looking however still easy to use and looking at the info I saw that it was very flexible. Meats, veggies, breads, it can cook all that. So I went ahead and ordered it and let's see how it went. So my griddler came in today. It is the Cuisine Art GR4 model. I believe this series goes up to six. And as you can see, it came all the way from China. And I'm going to unbox it for you today and show you what it looks like straight out of the package. Make sure I don't cut the darn griddle. That's down. It's a box in a box. Now again, I am in no way sponsored by Cuisine Art. However, I would not be opposed to it. Eh? Eh? Give me a call. So here it is, the graphic package for the Cuisine Art Griddle. Supposedly, this is the item that will help me do, well, all of this here. Uh, we also have a fried egg, I like that. Bacon, I like that too. And it comes with a nice diagram of all the different ways you can use this griddle. So let's open it up. I love it when the packaging does not use tape. Simple cardboard flaps. And there it is. Here is plate number one of the griddle. So this is supposed to attach to this top part here. And here is the bottom half of the grill. A feature that they said about this thing is that it's reversible. So side one, you have the regular grill. And side two, you have the flat bed griddler. Every packaging comes with its own paperwork. The quick reference guide, I believe everyone should at least read this piece of paper to know how to operate this safely and how to clean and care it. But you also have the full manual here as well. But we're gonna go ahead and use the quick reference guide as a starting point. Number one, remove all packaging materials and confirm all your parts are present. We have the griddler. We have two plates, the griddler cleaner, the drip tray. Now to set up the griddler, we shall open up the griddler to insert the bottom plates. Here is the heating element, and we're gonna go ahead and take one plate, and we're gonna have it, I'll do grill side first. So we slide in first, press down, and it locks into place. Now, in order to have the griddler be into the flat mode, where you can have both grills flat, you must first close it and use this latch here on the side of the handle. Press and hold that, and now you're able to open it fully flat. And we shall take the second plate here. I'll show you that it's reversible, so we're gonna go ahead and do the flatbed side. We're gonna go ahead and slide into the hinge point again. Press down, and it locks into place. Let me get into these dials on the griddler. Now, first things, in terms of quality, I'm a bit disappointed. They're a bit flimsy, there's no tension when you're turning, it feels cheap. But let me go ahead and explain these three dials here, because it can get kind of confusing. You have the main selector dial, which you can switch to griddle, or you can switch to grill panini. And that basically sets it to which of these dials is in play. You switch it to griddle, you are setting this dial to the correct temperature. But if you're doing it on grill panini, you're focusing on this dial. It goes from warm, low, medium, high, and sear. When you're on this setting, you could basically use the griddle however you want. You could use it in this mode, you can reverse the plates and have it be a panini press, you can do all that type of stuff. But let me show you what orientation you have to be on when you set it to griddle. 
you're gonna have both of these plates be the flatbed style. So since this top one is already flat, you just have to focus on the bottom one in this case. You have the release button on the side of the griddler here. You push this in, it releases the latches of the bottom plate. You open it up, you flip it around, and again, you slide it into the hinge, and then you press it down, and it locks. And now, you want this to be a full griddle, meaning you want this thing fully flat. And in order to do that, you have to use this side hinge here, press the handle, and then open it up fully. And now, you've oriented this into full griddle mode. Now, as far as cleaning the griddler, it is very simple. You make sure the main selector dial is switched to off, which is, again, the top position. And you want to make sure the griddler is unplugged from the outlet. Let this thing cool off for 30 minutes. Once you're done letting it cool off, you have to grab the drip tray from the side. This is where all of your gunk is. And as you can see, there's a little spout there to help pour it out once it's been cooled. Pour that thing out, wipe this thing dry, you can run it through water, and then slide this back in. Now, the cool thing is, you have your tool again, that can help scrape these little bits out of the grill part. And again, if you have bits on the flatbread part, you have the side angle here for scraping that off. The thing about these plates is they're actually dishwasher safe. So you press the latch, take this thing up. You can just put this whole thing in the dishwasher and it'll be fine. As for the rest of the components like the dial and the main housing hole, you could just wipe that off with a nice soft towel. Wipe that thing dry, make sure there's no dust here or anything, and that's fine. Now, a tip that is actually from the manual is that if you cook seafood on this thing, just use lemon juice on the plates. Lemon juice, that way it gets rid of that fishy smell. I got this griddle because one, I love to grill. You see my other videos, I love grilling stuff. But two, it was to replace all reliable over here. Look at her. She's been dedicated to me for a couple years now. It is an Ovente brand. And you know, it got the job done. You plug it in, it's already starting to heat. It doesn't have these fancy dials, but it does have an LED indicator to let you know when it's ready to go. You know, look at it. It's so dirty, it's clean. I don't know how that works, but it's been through a lot, and I think I'm finally ready to say goodbye to this one. Um, thank you for your service. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want me to create more content, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps support my channel. Let me know down in the comments on what else you want me to review, and I will see you next video.